Hi. <laughs> How is everybody? One of my sorry guys, I look orphanized here. I don't know how this shirt snuck into my wardrobe. This is the size I used to wear. Here's the shoulder. <laughs> sorry, forgive me. Anyway, how is your guys' week going? Yeah, mine's going good. Yeah, yeah, I had a good weekend. I hope y'all did as well. Uh, I know, you know. Sometimes. <laughs> I was really thirsty. I hope you guys had a great week anyway. I had a great week. Go get a cup of coffee, go get a soda shot, or whatever. <laughs> whatever makes you happy. And let's undo this, uh, this load that I got. Yeah. Again, this load should be, I think, mostly good. Mostly mixed. I think the clothes are from Desert Industry and the hard goods are from Goodwill. But at any rate, I'll try to remember yeah, where they came from and what I'm paying. I did have a nice weekend. I got rested. You know, sometimes when the weather changes, it, it gets the best of me. And yeah, I just think it's age. It's the same. Anyhow, I hope you guys had a great weekend. So, let's, without further ado, first of all, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank those who have followed me over from Tammy's Nomadic RV Life to here. Who have always been there for me, always had my back, have always just been kind and good-hearted. Um, yeah, the, you know, there's not a lot of kind people in this world, and when you find them, you hold them tight. And I am here, and I make these videos that we cannot ever lose touch. I know I was a bad girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think I'll ever change. But anyway. You know, I, life got crazy, I got crazy, things got really rough for me in the last few years. But, yeah, I, I come back a lot stronger, a lot more determined, and even a bigger will than I ever had before. Headstrong. Yeah. So anyway, um, I don't ever want to lose contact with those of you I call friend. And I look forward to those of you I don't know yet that one day I'll call friend. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. So I know there are some of you that watch my channel that haven't subscribed. Time to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And while you're at it, hit that little bell that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Because I'm going to try and upload two videos a week of my hauls. Now that all my clothes got to get rid of this thing. I'm telling you, it's like a tent. <laughs> Fly away. Anyway, I've already done shopping for me, so unless I run across something that is um, just I can't help myself. <laughs> ah, happens all the time. Anyway, I will be buying from my, my eBay store and my Poshmark store. Um, so don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down too if you don't like me or you don't like my station give me a thumbs down you know what I hit the algorithm either way just saying <laughs> anyway hit that little bell so you know I'm dropping videos and don't forget to subscribe and you know what you guys say hi drop in down at the comments if you have any ideas on things I can source that I can look for where I can source let me know down below. I am out of Phoenix, Arizona, and if any of you live in this area and, and know a good thrift store, shop or thrift store other than the ones I've already told you that I go to, direct me. Or, or you know what, I know all the good girls. But if you have a certain self, I love Salvation Army. <laughs> if you know of a certain Salvation Army that's really just got killer deals on a daily, let me know. You know, if you want, anybody wants to know where Desert Industries is, where I do a lot of my shopping, and there's only one in Phoenix, so I think there's one in Tucson. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's communicate. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, let's do it.
So I, I got to tell you, when I, I got to show you this shirt, okay? When I was thrifting this shirt, it was a dollar shirt. And I was coming down, the, I had done the whole side of one aisle, which was half of the aisle, the first half to the back of me was all half off and halfway down it was yellow tags and they were a dollar well as i got right to the end this little old lady she she had to be a good 10 or 12 years more than me okay she come around the corner and she was looking right at the end and i pulled this shirt out and you guys uh, if I think something's funny, I laugh. I don't care where I'm at, what I'm doing, or who's around. If it's funny, it's funny. I can't control myself. I love humor. And so I pull out this shirt, and I read it, and I broke into hysterics. And she's like, what? What? <laughs> Share with me. And so I turn the shirt around. She breaks out in hysterics. So after we've done laughing our asses off, because I told her, there's a lady over there I'd like to let read this shirt. I wish it would fit me. It's a size 3X. And she's like, well, you can wear it to sleep in. That's not the point. There are people in this world I'd like to read this to. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, I have to read you this. T I have to let you read this t-shirt. Because you know what? There are just days like this, guys. This shirt is a 3X. It is brand new. It has tags. No tags, but it's brand new. Trust me. <laughs> it cost me a dollar. It'll be up on eBay. And probably Poshmark. So are you ready? Without further ado, it's a five times large. But it cannot be that big. No, no way. Are you ready? Well, maybe. Are you ready? I wish this was in my size. I would wear it every time I would chop it. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go slow. You are about to exceed the limits of my <laughs> medication. <laughs> I can't open. <laughs> oh God, there's so many people on a daily, okay guys? <laughs> I swear if this was a size medium, I'd wear it every time I went shopping. Anybody, this will be posted on my eBay store and my Poshmark if you have what it takes to rock this shirt. <laughs> I'd rock it. It's just too big. I'd look like a big deflated purple balloon. Like my pink <laughs> shirt. And it was a three large. So anyway, this is five large, guys. I don't know. <clears throat> That's a five large. I will pull that out as far. Yeah. Yeah, I would say probably. Nice comfortable shirt. I think it's 100% cotton. It's very comfortable. Oh, I don't know why they had to put these all the way down on the bottom, two side. Let's see here. This is 95% cotton and 5% polyester. This is a nice shirt, you guys. And double stitched, unfortunately. Too funny. It's the prettiest lilac, too. This is a lilac. It looks kind of blue. There it is. Let me see if I can get the real color up on the camera. That's the real color. Is that adorable? Anyway, I paid one dollar for that shirt. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hang it on my wall. And every time I need some humor in life, instead of getting on Instagram, I'll read it. <laughs> the sleeves drive me crazy. <clears throat> I can't keep the shirt on. It's falling off my shoulders. Trash can as soon as I get out of it. I'll donate it. Okay. So this one is from Desert Industries as well. The, the purple one was. Uh, this is was on sale for half off. And the original price is $6.95. The company is Croft and Barrow. Woo. <laughs> nice company. It's a size medium. No, let the anticipation grow. Let's see here. It is 55 Rami, 
45 rayon. Yeah. And again, it is a size. Is this a medium? This is brand new without tax. This has never been washed or worn. Uh, size medium. Brand new without tags. It is a cardigan. It's uh, kind of thin. Let me put my hand in there for you. I know. Drop it all over, Tammy. You see? Can you see my? You can see my ring. Uh, it's it's not real thick. Uh, it's actually beautiful. It's got a little design. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to try to pinch this up. This is a three-quarter sleeve. It's got a, a little tuck. What's that called at the end of your sleeves when it's like sewn tighter to keep it up? So it's a three-quarter sleeve. I will put this on for you. See, that way you can see how long it is. And forgive me for this over big shirt. This has got to be one that missed the trash can or the donation pile. This is a medium my size. Oh, God. the sleeves all bunched up, guys. Don't hold this sweater. Don't hold my sleeve against the sweater. It's not the sweater. It's my sleeve. Here, I'll, let's see here. Try and get that down. I know. They're like, Jesus, God, we can come here and watch you dress. Okay, there. So we're going to go this way again. This comes down to... My hips here, that one came here, and this one comes down to the top of my thigh. It would go right in. Yep. It is. <clears throat> no buttons. Very nice, very soft, really pretty. There's really not much of a collar <laughs> yeah, on this, um, but I think that if you were dressing it in the office, I think it would be beautiful if you had a collar that laid over it, like a turtleneck or what are those big turtlenecks called? Uh, cows or something? <laughs> you can tell I'm new to the business, okay? So anyway, this is a really cute little professional looking sweater, uh, new without tags. This will be posted on my, I know I got my sleeves all bunched, man, I was hurting. Um, this will be on my eBay or my Poshmark. And it's Croft and Borrow size medium. Let's see how. Oh, my tongue is sure it's driving me crazy. I wouldn't even be able to sleep in this shirt. Use it as a sleep shirt. Look at all this material. Okay. I love this little cardigan. I, I You know what? I absolutely love it. Yeah. I'm selling it because of the brand name. I'm just going to be really truthful because I do wear medium. It's very pretty. And that camera is showing the true color. Okay. I know, isn't that pretty? I paid $3.50. Can't beat that. I know. It's, yeah, it's time to relax. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> about to exceed. Okay, so the next one is new without tags as well. It is a tie dye, pretty purples, pinks, teals. Uh, the company who made this is called Wound Up, W O U N D. Wound up, the size is an extra large, 15 to 17, 60% cotton, 40% polyester. This t-shirt was regularly $3.95. I paid less than two bucks. Brand new, without tags. And we're going to read this one as well. I love the I love tie dye. 
this one says bless blessed to oh God, I can't read it backwards to feel great sense of happiness and enjoyment blessed it's a lightweight little tea so this would be perfect for over a long sleeve layer dressing in the winter you could wear any solid too this blue you could wear the pink a white and this is more of a kind of a teal green yeah but you could wear a whole mess of colors under up under this for long sleeve layer dressing in the winter isn't that adorable the back is just plain It is, I would say, a little longer, a little longer tee. It's going to come past your waist for sure, but you could always tuck it. Yeah, that's a. I love tie dye, just love it. But you know, I'm from the '70s, born in the '50s, and grew up in the '70s. Okay, the next one, you know, I like prints. You guys seen the shirt I had on my last video? I like prints. I don't like great big flowers on my shirts or. I like feminine prints, you know, our solids. I like, you know, <laughs> sayings on my shirts. But I, I don't like big gaudy uh, shirts. To, if you do, hey, every, every one of us has our own style design in our minds. Uh, but this one I thought, purple is one of my, fa is my favorite color, believe it or not. People think it's pink, any shade of purple. Hence, even that purple. So this is a really cute little shirt. I would say this is more of a dress tee. If there's such thing. It's not just a regular tee. Um, it's, it's a little heavier. It's really nice made. I wouldn't be surprised if it's all cotton. This is the woman within. Our women. Woman within. I know this brand. This is a size medium. Yeah, let's see how much cotton is in this bad boy. Because I think there's a lot of cotton in this bit. Oh, look. The sides have the little on each side. Probably about three inches, I'm guessing. This is 100% cotton. I knew it. I knew that. You can feel it. You can absolutely feel it. But on this side, you guys, it has the little slits. You know, for those of us who are a little bigger in the bottom. Um, yeah, it'll lay better front to back. If you want to do a tuck in the front, the slit really helps. Leaves the back longer and the front up. Isn't that cute? I got this again. It was $3.95 regular. I got it half off at uh, my other thrift store. Tell I'm tired. <laughs> I paid two bucks. Just under two bucks. No, no, I can't believe I forgot the name. Sometimes I just work too hard. And, and what I eat, too, I think I lose brain cells. <laughs> it goes to my stomach to digest it. Just saying. Okay. In the 70s, one of my, besides hip huggers and 501s, corduroys. Do you remember cords? I loved my hip hugging corduroys. Yeah, my favorite color was a brown beige pair that I had. Um, so, at the thrift store I was at, and yeah, not Goodwell, the other one. For some reason, I can't remember the name. Just saying. There is a medicine that I take that makes me forgetful sometimes. Kind of bothers me, though. So, I was just talking about this place. Anyway, this is either here or there. You guys understand. Yeah. I said it with the first shirt. <laughs> oh, just go back to the beginning of the video. <laughs> anyway, so these cords were so cute. These cords were $1. They're normally $9.65. I paid a dollar for these. They're gorgeous. Okay, they're 65% cotton. I mean, 98% cotton. You hear it? Yeah. 98% cotton and 2% spandex. 
they're size 10 they're not my size uh, they're stretched they're made in Indonesia and they're by Talbots yes sir Talbots can you see it there we go these are beautiful you guys these are absolutely beautiful uh, five pockets I want to say this is going to come right up to your belly button or just underneath it. Yeah, these pants are gorgeous. $6.95. I paid half of that, which I bet $3.50. These pants were taken really good care of. You know what? They got the Arizona crease down on my. It almost. Oh, I love the filicorderies. It almost looks like these pants had been dry cleaned, laundered, and uh, not washed at home they're beautiful these pants are beautiful absolutely so these pants will be on sale on Poshmark and they'll be on sale at eBay um, I have I know this name <laughs> and I didn't need to look it up dollar yeah to know that I can sell these and make a profit just saying Flip them, baby. <laughs> oh, God. And my head covered. Going off. I look like a pirate. Jeez. One of those days. Okay. I have some really cool hard goods today. I'm going to pull you up a little close. Step in this way. <laughs> I know. I'm selling this shit today, right? Okay. So, these are from Goodwill. And yes, I'm still turning them in the that. Anyway, I got two. <coughs> They're the Col Colville Blue. I think that's how you say it. Yep, sugar. Creamer. And they were $2.49 each. I did full pay full price for these. They're gorgeous. And there's the name on the bottom. They are absolutely busy. They're not, they haven't been cleaned. Okay, I, yeah, I haven't cleaned them yet. Um, once I get them cleaned, they'll be posted. I don't know if I'll post these on Poshmark, you guys. I'll probably just post them on eBay. So, because, you know, hard, yeah, it's hard to sell hard items. Just saying. Anyway, they're both made by the same company. Aren't they cute? So, I seen uh, one lady was talking about she had gotten some of these from Goodwill. She sold them for $35. Yeah. I don't know what brand she sold, but uh, they're made in Japan. She sold another set. Uh, she said she sold them for $90. That's pretty $45 each. That's expensive, guys. Jeez. Yeah. I'm happy using my sugar out of a pack. <laughs> Just saying. So anyway, that's my my first hard goods. They're beautiful. There's no chips, no cracks, no, nothing, no scratches. They're in perfect, perfect condition. And I know my lips are dry. They'd be dry, baby. This is adorable. It is so heavy you could knock someone out with it. <laughs> Leave it by your bed as a weapon. I love the way the handle goes. It's very soft, very sleek. This is a very heavy. This reminds me of a cream pitcher that would be used in the morning filled with milk to put on your children's cereal or your cereal. There are no scratches. Nope, there's nothing on the bottom. You know, I found the clear glass. It's really hard to find any with a mark. Just saying. You have to literally search and search and search to find your item. Because if they don't have a maker's mark, you know, you're looking for certain I, um, things like the way the handle is like blown glass, if you can tell. See how it's like blobbed on there and then formed like a stick of glass. You can see where it was cut off. 
it's not sharp, but you can see where it was cut off after it was blown. This is hand blown. It's gorgeous. This was five dollars and forty nine cents. I got it for two dollars a dollar a day at Goodwill. It's actual it's dirty and it's clean. But I'll have it shining like yesterday's Yeah, first page of the newspaper. Isn't that pretty? It is heavy. I'm telling you, you can knock somebody out with that thing. A little crystal glass. Now this has three little dots on the back, see When I take pictures and I search on eBay or even Google search, picture search, if I can't get something off the bottom from those four little dots, I will flip it over and try to take something off of this. Yeah. And I search Google, I search um, eBay, because believe it or not, Stuff I haven't found on Google, I have found on eBay and or Poshmark. So, I wake up Google. Just saying. So anyway, this cute little ashtray cost me $2. The tag came off. It wasn't really stuck on all that good. Um, it was actually $1.99. And it was $2 a day. And they adjusted it. I think they adjusted it out. It was like $1.57 or something. However they do it. I just was happy on, yeah, that I found it because it's an ashtray. Again, they don't make ashtrays anymore. I know this has got to be vintage, you guys, and it is an ashtray. It's a crystal ashtray. Let's see if I can get it to go ding. <laughs> so I know I have some. I. I only buy crystal or clear glass when I do a comp and it comes back that it's worth $20 or more. And these are heavy, so you could lift weights with these bad boys. <laughs> okay, run. Uh, and these are heavy. Lead crystal, they're candle holders. Again, nothing. But if you look in there, let me show you this. There's a star in there. Let's see if I can get it back up. Can you see a star? That's how I search that stuff. I think that star is amazing because if you're just if I'm looking down, I don't see the star. But I see the star in my video. Is that a trip? No. No, no. These were two dollars as well. These were normally like eight, seven, seven seventy nine. They're really dirty too. Look at that. I bet these are pretty when they're clean. But I went around and I filled them. There's no scratches, no jings, no chips on any of them. So, uh, yeah. These will also be up on my eBay. I looked these up. They start at $22 and they go up. Yeah. I know, right? I don't have so many cocaine. I have this really cool candy dish. It wasn't a candy dish when I ran comps on this. I can't remember if it was a dip dish. <laughs> they had all kinds of dishes back in the day. So this one, I have to show you if I can. Do you see this little star right here? And then you've got the, but there's a star in the middle. If I can get it up. And there's bushes here, arrow. So anyway, you can see the star on the bottom. This is cut crystal, lead crystal. Not lead crystal. Okay. So I guess you could use this for a candy dish. Put it by your front door, throw your keys in it. Uh, there's no chips, no dings, no nothing on it, on any part of it. So, you know, I would, you could put it by your front door for your keys. Everybody has keys. You could put it by your front door with mints for, as your guests are leaving, they could have a candy. The kids could, you know, ram sack it. <laughs> That's what my kids used to do. Um, it could dip. You know, this, it's on a pedestal. Uh, this will be on my eBay. 
Yeah, two dollars. Two dollars for this. Normally six ninety-five, I think it was. And again, it's heavy. It's got little in grooves. Can you see these? I'm telling you, there are so many little unique characters to these that, um, yeah. That if you look and you do a, I think I Google searched this to get the comps on this. That if when I first Google searched, I aimed at these and the bowl shape kind of like that so you could yeah the camera could tell it was a bowl on a pedestal <laughs> to try and find it sometimes I gotta tell you finding this stuff on the internet is funner than funding it because when you find it you go well, oh my god so next <laughs> so this next one really shocked me very careful, Alec. It's black. I know it looks purple, brown, but this is black, dark black. A little hole. This is actually a teapot, an oriental teapot. I know, it must be like really strong tea. Um, it again, it's in perfect condition. There are no lumps, no bumps, nothing, nothing on this. Yeah, I got this. Uh, it's called St. Vincent's, is the name of it, but they call it by another name. Um, this was three dollars. Guess what the lowest comp is on this beautiful little tea, tea cup, tea pitcher? You know, look how dirty. Forty-five dollars. I about fell over. 45 bucks. I'm like, you gotta be kidding. I searched it twice. Twice, guys. Uh, it'll be on eBay. I'll be listing this on eBay. But I have to say, I won't be listing it for $45. You know, sometimes those prices are so outrageous to me. I'm like, how did prices get so high? This thing here, let me show you something. The creamer, this is a teapot. <laughs> Oops. Oh, this is a teapot. This can't hold, I bet this don't hold more than 8, 10 ounces. That's got to be some really strong tea. I'll make sure I didn't chip it. <laughs> it's an expensive little guy to be chipped. So anyway, three dollars is what I spent for that. Over in Sunny Slope, my hometown. And there is a marking on the bottom, but this is so dirty. They showed me the marking online as well. It is so dirty. Reading it is like nearly impossible. But it's weird that it shows up that dark reddish brown because it it is black. <laughs> It's a very black valley. Okay, we're almost done. I think we have two items. My next one of my favorite items. That little teapot. I love that little teapot. It's one of my favorite items. I love little teapots. So, and that was the littlest one there that day. And I was really shocked that it, it was worth more money than all the rest of them. So, uh oh, got a tag stuck there part of a tag. Let's take that off. Yeah. This again was St. Vincent's and Sunny Slope. Come on off me, paper. Okay. <laughs> These were $1.50 for both of them. That's like 75 cents each, right? Right. They're really cute. They're little pedestal. And you're going to flip out when you hear the name of these. 75 cents each, just remember that. These are little pedestal candle holders. And I'm gonna, you, there's the brand. And if anybody's out there thrift stoppers, you already know who this is. Her first name is Ogla. Ogla, something like that. Yeah, and I'm telling you guys, I was shocked at the amount of money these are worth. This is a designer. 
that makes Oga. Is it Ogla? O G L I A is the first name. They make pants and purses and jewelry and men's clothes and shoes and white ceramic. Forty bucks. For two. It cost me a dollar fifty for two. I love these. These were the first um, thing I picked up over there uh, when I started sourcing that day was these little candles and uh, I fell in love with them. Absolutely in love with them. And uh, I, exp I just wanted them to go to a really good home because like again, they're my favorites. The minute I seen that tag, the minute I seen that, I was like, oh, I have seen that before. And all I did was take a picture on um, Google search, camera search, picture search is what it's called. Came right up. Came right up. It's got little, it's like weaved. Yeah, see how the glass is weaved? I'm telling you, they're intricate. They're beautiful. There is not a nip, chick, dent, nothing on these. These are in really good condition. I know, I'm excited about that one. I gotta get these posted so they can be out by Christmas. That'll be my Sunday chore this Sunday, not next Sunday. Sunday the second or something, I think. Okay. So I got this <clears throat> because it looks like an old railway. Whaled railway lamp. It's got gold on the windows all the way around. Okay. And I was completely convinced that's what this was. Until I pulled a picture. <laughs> you guys, your girl, I gotta tell you. I had noticed the reason I pulled the picture, because I was going to sell this as a railway lamp. It is, it is, you know, antique. <laughs> yeah. It's old. Uh, if it's not antique, you know, it's vintage. So, anyway, it's glass. So, I was looking at it. It's really dirty. Uh, after I got it home, this cost me $2. But anyway, I was looking at it. It's like, what's on the bottom? It's a music box. I thought, when did they start putting me music boxes in railway lamps? I was really kind of confused, and this moves up, you know how when you lift it up it should go off, but this won't turn, it's like stripped, see, okay, so I thought, oh, it's okay, I don't want to, I, yeah, we're going to list it as a lamp, I can just put a candle in there and hang it up, how precious would that be, no, never going to happen, why? It's a bottle. <laughs> this is a bottle. A liquor bottle. <laughs> Do you see? This is a liquor bottle, guys. A liquor bottle. I still haven't played around with it enough to know enough on how that comes pouring out of that. But this is a corked. This is corked. I, it blew my mind. I tell you. Yeah. I'm not real sure how you. If this twists. Let me see. I'm telling you, I was really shocked about this. Anyway, I'll get it figured out. I'll I'll look online. But yeah, a decanter. A little decanter. Who'd have thunk it? With a music box. I know, right? I'm telling you, it's really cool some of the stuff you find out there. I know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoy finding stuff. It's so unique that I shake my head and go, it's a what? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had a great time. I hope that maybe you learned something or you enjoyed just a little bit of some of the stuff that I enjoy. Well, I'm out uh, thrifting this stuff because 
Yeah. S some really cool stuff, wouldn't you think? Don't you think? So leave a comment. I don't. I'm thirsty. My lips are so dry. Winter is here. My skin is dry. My hair is dry. My lips are dry. <laughs> I hate winter. I would crunch those ice cubes, but I can't be too polite on a video. So anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I, I hope you, you found or you've seen something that you've never seen before and that you're in awe like I am over some of the stuff. Please hit that, yeah, that like button. If not, and you don't like anything, hit the, uh, the thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How you feel is what's important, and it's what matters to you, too. I'm going to get, yeah, hit the algorithm anyway. So, yeah, hit the thumbs up or thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And don't forget to hit that little bell. Yeah, because every time I drop a, a video, you're going to be notified. And I'm making, trying to make two videos a week. The thrifting's gonna kill me. <laughs> Sourcing is gonna kick my little ass. But anyway, I'm trying to drop two videos a week, and yeah, yeah, I, I want to share some of the stuff I find with you guys. Um, down below, you'll find all my information. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you if you, if there's anything that you see that's posted on my Poshmark, send me. A message on Poshmark that you are a YouTube viewer and I'll give you 10% off it doesn't work that way on eBay eBay you would have to pay full price on eBay whatever I'm asking over there so yeah just let me know you're you know you're one of my page uh, one of my subscribers or one of my viewers over here on YouTube I do have a rumble account it's a uh, home picking 59 I believe yeah is that my yeah, everything's listed below. <laughs> have a good day. Time to sign off and go to bed. I hope you guys have a great evening. Have a better weekend. Remember to love yourself and love those around you. Go buy somebody a cup of coffee and pay it for me. Yeah. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Peace out. Bye bye.